So, yo, guys, we're in here. It might be Oi Oi Annex, which is in Shinjuku. So, we're just in the area, and I thought I'd check it out because I had a few shops in this uh, building. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to check it out and show you guys what we can find. So, yo, we're at Surugaya, which is similar to a like a hobby off, I'd say. And then they have some cards over here. Doing one piece over there, but Pokemon over here. So yeah, have it all look. Let's see. I see some vintage from over there. Alright, Dutch. Alright, Junior Revelation. Uh, so not bad. Gengar, Charizard. And I think the grade means the number in the front might mean the grade. So we'll have a look. There's some stuff like the chairs on mine, that'd be crazy, you know. What's that, 250? That would be too bad, but yeah. Some cool stuff over there. Got some like Southern Islands here. CD promo, but four condition maybe. I think that's what it means. So I want to have a look at and to kind of determine that. We've got Pikachu's here, so older cards. And yeah, you got loads of them, so I think kind of type in order. I don't know, set order something. I think maybe highlights there and then they go into like Pokemon order. So you got your Articuno's there, and you got the Glossy, you got the Platinum Secret or the Anna, I think Anna Airways, but Platinum Secret later on in English. Look at eight for the Zapdos, is sick. Okay, modern stuff. So you got the odd backs as well there. And you got your Entei. Raikou, no hollow Raikous. Then again, you can kind of see the prices in these shops. The yeah, old back, just maybe PC, but oh, that Entei is sick. Nine condition. So nine could be highest if it's mint, we'll grab it. Um, and yeah, look, 2,500 for the top half of a legend. And a nine, I don't know if the nine, okay, I need to check this. What does that mean? Okay, I don't think it means anything, because I said six, and that's modern, and that's market. All right, so we've got some primes there as well. One, two, one, eight, two, eight. Celebi for 15 isn't too bad. Is that a good price for the about market, 300 there. All the black and white. So I want to find more black and white. So that's XY, Whale Lord. Oh, oh. Wallace, whatever his name is. Lugia there at 5.7 isn't bad. So these ones though. So they would like victory medals, right? Pikachu, the Pikachu 7-Eleven. Okay, I love this Pikachu promo. Now I know where it came from. So the 7-Eleven promo pack, I guess, back in the day. You see 7-Eleven stamp? I've got like quite a few of them, I always buy them in. New deck box, I think. Oh, we've got Reaper as well. All right, I want to ask on a few things now and then we'll kind of check the condition. I actually had this on my list. I think it's such a sleep. Cheap Pichu, cool Pichu. Do you see it? Okay, check card. Can I get a few? Uh, so pick first. Oh. Yeah, okay. Check. Okay, this one? Hmm. Um, see, look, the small number didn't mean condition in the end. It's going to say, because there's a lot of nines, it doesn't make sense, but. Check. I'll check this one. Hmm. I'll take it. Bro. Okay, thank you. Okay. This one and then these three. Yeah. All right, so condition check in here. So it's good that you can get a handful of stuff and just kind of look over it. So yellow sticker means not mint, but then again, okay, this one does have a there but look it's a pretty clean card overall like this one does have a dent so we'll leave that this one's with a glossy promo it's not the hollow one so that's battered 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 all the same you really get maybe it's one of the ones you peel i'm not too sure i just never really like this art because this beak is awful one cake for that oh, not good all right 600 though Six, okay a bit there see that yeah all right so this number means nothing so that's what i asked him not the worst for 25 pounds but a little bit there there surpass that again it's 
Okay, yeah, whitening there. Okay. Alright, these are... They said nine on them. That ain't the worst. A little bit on that corner there. And then here, a little bit there. I think that might hit a nine. I'll comp it. This one I really want. A little, little bit, a little bit. Same again, just a tad, tad there. Again, I'll comp these ones. These are the JR rallies, I think. Oh, this one. This one's really good. And I'm just looking at the edge. Some things that catches me always is the surface. I got done yesterday, one of the cards had a den on it, but I paid a good price. Okay. See that little chip? Well, I have had tens with those still, so good day. It depends the grader, so yeah. This one's oh, a bit too bad for wear. 2.5, it's had a sale, it's been reduced, reduced. You can just see the layers of stickers on there. Um, but yeah, at two. 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Don't even know if it goes to 10. You know what? Instinct. I'll take that. Instinct, I think that's a good deal. I have to go on instincts. I never sold them before, so I can't go off my top of my head, you know, kind of. Because once I sold them a few times, I could tell the price a little bit there. Love the platinum one though. Uh, we've got these here. Just a very, very, okay, that one's a little bit more. And these ones are a bit cheaper, so it's not going to be as good. Uh, but good selection, not the craziest selection, but a good variety there. Yeah, I don't know the prices, but it seem okay. Bit there, okay. Boom. This one's nice. Come on, be good. Be on the top. All right. Trico promo. Love the claymations. Pokemon Center ones. This is from Yokohama. Ooh, very very slight on the top, but for ten pounds, I'll double check that. This is what I want the most. Super cheap promo, but it looks incredible. Look at it. Uh, but yeah, this one. Very, very slight on the bottom, but about seven, eight pounds. Take it. About 15, I reckon. Very, very minuscule on the bottom, but for the PC at seven pounds. I've never seen anyone post this card before. It was on my buy list, like to buy over here for the PC. And look at that. What do you reckon, Ray? Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? For seven, eight pounds. Take that regardless. Okay. Um, cancel. Hmm. Sealed is 100. 972. So these ones are like hit or miss tens on these JR rallies. Uh, very, very minuscule. Uh, that one's like 50. That one's for PC, so I don't mind. Like, there's one for 45, but look at the state of it. Awful. So, you know what? Fudge it, grab that. Uh, bye, please. All right, here we go. Dark chairs are these are the big items here. So yeah, about 150 plus. Bad corner, so. Uh, cancel? Yeah. Cool, so we'd say cancel. Thank you. Boom, boom. Oh, it's a little bit there, bit there. Reckon could nine. A nine's probably still like 150 pounds, so. Yeah, I'll pass. Cancel. Probably get nine. I saw the eight for 120, I think. Not in a card show, so. Yeah, this one's sick. Look at that. Real like that one. This was. How much? No price. I think 40k it was. A little bit on the bottom. May 9, May 8. I think centering knocked down one. Edge knocked down one. That'll get an eight. But yeah, 40k, so. Let me check car car on eight. How much this one? Hmm. Forty. Yeah, about the same price. Well, UK rate at three hundred, America, Japan two twenty. Can I check? Uh, cancel. So that was proxy stuff. So was two. So this one's fifty k. Bit there, bit there. Probably between seven maximum. One higher than seven. So 996 base set 7, I'm not sure the comps. For me, I'm trying to get like an 8 maybe. It's got a poopy swell. Ooh, look at that. You see that? 
I don't know if people pay a premium for it, but yeah, cancel. Hmm. So I'm just trying to find NM really. NM or mint. Thank you. Ain't too bad. Yeah, I saw the minty pack fresh one from LCS, but cancel. Thank you. This one's sick. Neo Revelation, because we got this in uh, Rocket, right? So, yeah. Very, very slight. Okay, yeah, I can see a dent in the corner that you see. The corner, so yeah. It looks, edges look beautiful nonetheless, about 60, 70 pounds of that. Cancel, please. Thank you. See, I like in the pace of going, I need to go a bit quicker as well. There are people waiting, but cancel. Hey. I'm gonna hey. like the buzz, but I'll look at it, because it's only 500. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Oof. This game got could nine. Could could nine, you know, but it's just that one corner. Maybe eight, but edges look amazing to be fair. So this is the band one. Oh look at it. You see he's got crosses in the back. They banned it for the Western market because it's not very good. Cool. Gengar Jim. PSC9. So this is a band art about 80 pounds I reckon. So PSC9 180. Then on bids they go for about a hundred. So roughly around that. To be honest, with surface and then that corner, eight, it will, I think confidently eight minimum, but now it'd be profit there. So if you're grading to flip, then you can literally buy any for everything here and flip it. But more time, some collections, some. Cancel. Hmm. Um, shall so I buy? First day, so. Yeah, first day. We'll find some more anyways, guys. Especially Pokemon stuff. I'm not too desperate on. These are pretty cool. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Trade, please, or something. Uh, 150 Google, like Google picture yeah so if you can't find a name this could be a pattern which is only... there we go we got a matchy listing let me find PSA and then touch Touch generation change. So AD 115 in um, near mint in the UK. So um, cancel these two. Hmm, cancel, okay. Okay, cancel. I thought it was a pretty cool niche one, would be nice. Uh, bye. Hmm, okay. Tax free? Uh, check out after six floor tax free. Okay, on okay. the sixth floor. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So you got tax free on the sixth floor, so I think I gotta claim my money back or something. We've got some boxes, obviously got the best here for retail. I still got loads in the UK, so I don't need if yeah, 30k, I don't know what that is, 150. To be fair, it's not bad. I bought like the bigger JR ones and a load of small ones. And then yeah. So not too bad, not too bad. So, yeah, we're gonna check out Mint. They do sports cards and TCG. They have a few stores around the country, but yeah, we'll have a look. They so, off the bat. They got some uh Murakami cards if you're into that. Actually, cop one of them boxes for retail, luckily. Uh, and yeah, those are some of the cards you can get. All right, let's have a look. You're right. Oh, they have um, the uh, dragon. All right, poker one here. So, yeah, 2,500 for that is bad. I think the different colors mean different types but then I can't remember what's what. I think green's good. 25 though, what's that about one for two? 125 for a rain by rain. I remember when it's hot man. For those level X there, five five hundreds all right. Especially for the team galactic one. Uh but it's a red sticker so does that mean played? If you see the mint, one's blue, some are green, some are red. Your modern hits 1200 1250 so you got your ARs here as well. So yeah, some of the older stuff with the XY era in this bit here, but around, around that it's all Scarlet Violet. Some Sword and Shield. I think this is just playable. So whatever's meta and regular EXs. This is probably the China man, cheap, cheap cards. Blue could be mint to be fair. So. Yeah, so many different like TCGs, look at this. 
Japanese Disney cards, but I don't know what they are. New Marvel. I want to get that from the store, but because it was coming here, I thought we'd get some here. Um, our hair boxes. We need to get some of these. So, mm -hmm. um, this one. This one. Okay. Yeah. The level X. Thank you. So one at a time. Oh yeah, bad thing on the top. Don't know if you can see. Uh, cancel. Wait for it. You know the color. Is the red bad? Green is good. Yeah, green is basic price. Okay. Red is the service price. Service. Yes, yes. So commission is mix. Okay, okay. Can I have a look at this one, please? This is this is sick. I love these big, big stamps. I've been looking at these recently. Look at this. Look at the size of that stamp. There's a couple cool ones like a ponytail and stuff. It isn't too bad. Just as yeah, around the side there. Cancel. Thank you. This one pops, but yeah, bit on the bottom. But for thousands, I'll just grab it. Bye. Bye. Okay. Yeah. For five pounds, maybe as well. I think I sold them before, like a tenner. I had a few for a tenner. Uh, this one? Oh, this, okay. Oh, sorry. A little bit on the bottom. I uh, can't sell this one. Okay. I'm real sick. The Rita Art. Yeah, some, uh, some booger on there. We'll leave that. Oh, yeah, whitening on that corner slowly. Cancel. Okay. I wanted this for a while. That's what I mean. These big stamps, crazy. Crazy, we really need to do it more often. Not too bad, I'll probably nine. Cancel. I'll just grab a few out. And then this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty, oh, a little bit on the bottom. But thousand yen for these ones is crazy cheap, man. It's thousand yen? Five, five fifty, five six. Uh, bye. Bye. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, bad. Pass, uh, cancel. Channel for <laughs> remember the terms, man. All right, we'll leave those. See your Umbreon, some uh, XY as well. Uh, the Ladios, mm -hmm. Kyogre, Groudon, Umbreon. Oh, there's a couple, a couple in there, chat. Sale is good, but sale is all. Oh, Ladios only 12K, but is it mint? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then this one, this one. Oh, this card all uh, it's expensive card. It's cheap is here. Yeah, it's some cool stuff. Nines on that. I hate nines in Japanese. I don't know why. I'll, I'll take it in English, but Japanese. I know I can get a ten eventually. Old, old Pokemon. Okay. Mini. Okay, take it out. Okay, so. Don't touch it. Okay, no touch. Mm -hmm. First edition. Uh, other side? Mm -hmm. Bro, it's on sale, but it's mint. Okay, a little bit there. I'll ask him. Um, you know this one, is it dust? Okay, it's little on. Damage. Okay, little damage. Okay, cancel this one. Mm -hmm. So you're in a 10. Sometimes they go for four, sometimes they go auction 150. So if it, if it's 10 worthy, then it'll be good because it's like a 2X. But to be fair, on some smaller cards, you get bigger margins, but some stuff like this, I wouldn't mind. Is there no touching? Okay, I see lipping on the top. Uh, other side? Lipping on that side. Yeah, the edges, very just like, I like it like this, not touching the cards, but you can see scratch as well. Cancel. This one I like, this one I've, I like yours. Oh yeah, be on the top, I'm not even gonna look at the back. Uh, okay, I'll take a look at the back. Uh, the back, yeah, ding on the top. Oh, bro, this is so clean. Oh, okay, specs, cancel. Yeah, but it's not bad, like 40 pound for that, but it's just one ten, no ten. Even if I was to grade it myself or buy it for stock, it's not worth it, so. This one I paid 150 USD, I think, in America. This one's about 70, 60 pounds here, but I paid in a 10. Mm, looks okay. Uh, other side? 60 pounds, roughly. It's not bad. Yeah, YouTuber? Oh, YouTuber? yes. Oh, Pokemon yeah, cards, oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, spec there. Cancel this one. Okay. 
or what you are uh, YouTube. Uh, Vivian's collectibles. We, we are checking. Okay, <laughs> yeah. thank you. This one's, is it 20k? Which one's sale price? Uh, this price. Okay. Mm. Ah, scratch on the front, but no lipping or nothing. Uh, can I, aside please? Oh, okay, yeah, corner spot. Cancel this one. Okay. Thank you. There's a one like yours in there. There's a few in there, but every single one of these damaged. To save time, we'll just buy the other lot and I'll check out some other shop. Uh, can I look at this one? Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. 2500 for a 10 is crazy. Here is uh, this shop and Pokemon Professor. Okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Go look at the next one. So some decent slides. I just saw thirteen pound for a ten is crazy. Crazy. That's like grading cost. So I just buy. It. I'll take this one. It's grading cost, you know. All right. Four, four, four. So obviously I haven't looked for a mystery. Some for PC. So you just kind of have a look here. But this is crazy. This extra case. Yeah. Uh, cancel this one, bro. I don't know what. I got a five in this as well. Coro Coro promo, as you can see, Coro stamp there. I got five, I bought it a long time ago. Uh, four, 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 five, five, five. All right, uh, cancel this one. Another oi oi. Seems like little shopping malls all over the place, but. So on floor seven, they have a Magi, so. So currently in Shibuya, guys, and yeah, this Magi was decent. Went last time, found a cool couple bits here. I think we got a lot of the mystery stuff from this one, and I think, in terms of Magi, this could be my favorite one. That I've visited, obviously I haven't visited every single one in the country, but um, yes. Yeah, Magi, Pokey guys. So yeah, we're gonna have an explore and see what they got. Got the Holy Marie here. Uh, Pine Luke is it, but okay. A Reaper, oh, we don't want to be walking away with them packs there. So yeah, that's what I like about them. They had a good selection of vintage. So I do see that misty Japanese promo in the back, which is nice of the lap. It's got a CD promo. Got the base set Zard and the Shining Zard there. So you can see the prices. Obviously work it out, but I'll kind of just show you. Give you like a nice look at them. But yeah, a lot of old back, old back. Well, you got the Masa is that Masaki Golem. Whatever the, whatever the ones that is. These are called the Trade Police for like a thousand yen ain't bad. You know what I mean? Or well, that one. This is the Trade Police. The other one, I'm not sure the exact name, but I like them quirky Japanese exclusive promos to be fair. Um, but you got the old backs here, so can I have a look at the prices? So like CD promo there for 25k, uh, 6k for the um, file Zard, and yeah, obviously price varies with conditions. So the highest one here is 20k, that could be minty, and obviously lower the worse. So we got these here. Um, any corrected? So there are a few different variations. I see the error one. I don't know if that one's corrected. There might be a corrected one there. Yeah, over here. So all in type in order. So as you can see on that one. So yeah, 15% off. I got to translate this chat until the 23rd. So my recommendation, Google, Google Translate, take a picture. Single cards over 3,000, 15% off. PSA are excluded. Can I be in conjunction with discounts? The campaign may end without notice. So 15% off on any cards over 3,000. And this is why you translate. When you see random posters like that, just translate them. Um, so that's going to be pretty good. It's going to help us out. Better than tax free that. <laughs> so yeah. But again, really cool promos and vintage stuff. Like you got the Zapdos there, web series, web right to there, web nine tails at the top. Uh, I don't know if they're hollow or non hollow ones. I want a web Charizard, but. Look at that Latios over there. Oh, okay. Articuno EX there. Altaria EX there. So have a look at those the minty minty guys. But yeah, you got in terms of EXs, I see Tyrant says here. Tyrant says the shock one there. Oh, look at that. So that's what I mean. 30k there. We paid 7k earlier. Is it gem mint? I don't know. But that one's obviously sealed for 30k. So I kind of used my judgment then. I thought it was a good price. So glad that's okay then. Um, or oh, look at the moon Umbreon at the back of there 32k, 33k. Don't know what that's in a 10, but we can check later. But yeah, 100 pounds for that one there. Ladias level X is wise. Well, I think we'll have a field day here. Chat, look at this, not too bad. Again, if they're mint, I'll grab them. Oh, yo, 
45k for that one, 46k next to the Giratina. Uh, and I know KB sold his in a 7, even though it's a 7, still an expensive card, as you can see. Uh, his one went for like 30, 40 quid. Just one of them ones, it's a bit niche, if you know, you know kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to look at all those level X's there, some EX's over there. Look at this. Some cool, like, more level X's, and Kari SP, Charizards for days there. Ah, oh, Infernape, Infernape's haunting me. And then boom, some more EX's, level X's, oh my god, 15k, 35k. You know, we got the Zard old back. So the minty ones, they might have graded to be fair, but just some slabs here. So yeah, all right, we'll have a look at some of the conditions and let you know. So someone did a condition check and it put a load of cards back. We got the Uyama. I remember I got my Uyama here. It was it was cheap. It might have been like 10k. And it hit a nine, which is really good. So 21k there. We'll see, we'll see. But so yeah, more condition checks. I guess a lot of people uh, a lot of people are trying to buy and grade, of course. Well I see some juicy ones there, Dragonites and stuff. Uh, but yeah, when it's ready, we'll have a look. He's just put this Dragonite back, so I'm curious to see the condition on it. See why someone's left that. Obviously, people here playing and that. Oh, well, you got your. Oh, Oda Luffy there. There you go. Okay, okay. You got the gold one there for uh, 900k. Bad. Oh, you got all the Pikachus here. That's sick. So, yeah, some good Pikas. Like 1.6 on that one. You get Pika there. That's a good one. That's mint for 3k, this ain't bad either. Waifus for days, we will shall not look over there. Yeah, all the waifus kind of things. Someone's put a lot back, no tens. Yeah, this is like, you guys are probably interested in the prices here. Um, 182, so about 1k on the Pika. 250 on the EV. Not a Pika, 100k, so. It's like 500 pounds, so half price. Someone must be worse for Festa though. Festa for 250. We'll give that a look as well. Uh, but yeah. Oh, they've got loads of slabs here, guys. So as you can see, kind okay, of got your waifu mixture of stuff. I love this um, Jirachi with the stamp there as well, the break stamp. Uh, but yeah, you got like the munches in the back. Gary Pro, my waifus. Yeah, just kind of have a take it in, guys. Pause it when you need to. Kind of see the market price, can I? Should you wait to buy it in Japan or should you find one in Japan? Or can you, is it cheaper back home in the UK, USA, wherever you are? Because sometimes you, to be fair, like even myself, I sell a lot of stuff at Japan prices. But hey, Gold Star there, 500 pounds for a nine. Kyogre seems pretty decent, you know? What? Let me know, chat. Will that be 99, 500 pounds? Roughly five, 600. I love the Entei at the top. It was a turn up, I'd consider, but I'd rather try and grade one, you know what I mean? Yeah, they got loads of booster boxes, so in terms of booster boxes, you got Violets under retail, that's pretty sick. Um, Paradigm Trigger's over, Clay over, uh, Arcana over, the rest seems to be under retail there. MV Star Universe at 11k, but they just restocked this weekend on Pokemon Center. Yeah, just some bits there, Put Poncho Box if you're interested. Uh, 168,000k of yen. The art book, you got the Yokohama book there as well. And then you got the master battle set price. So again, I'm just showing you everything so you can see prices and pause and have a read, stuff like that. So yeah, I had a look at uh, a bunch of <laughs> that whole row there. Uh, not obviously, you're not gonna find mint all the time and it doesn't say conditions. So I literally have to look at everything. Okay, he's got the big box here now. So I said all EX level X. And yeah, to be fair, it's not the biggest bestseller. I just kind of like collecting it. And if I can find mint or near mint, then we'll grab them. Especially if I can sell it for a good price, buy it for a good price. Yeah, he's gonna like grab them also. We'll try and buy some bits. Oh, legend, look at him. I'll have to buy a few then. Anything near mint to mint will grab at a good price, of course. So yeah, have a look now. So I just kind of kind of just turn around. So yeah, they're probably gonna be quick, but it's not, hey, yo, this ain't bad, but yeah, a little bit on the top. So cancel, cancel there, and then buy on the other side. Centering on these are killer though. Cancel. 
I might speed run through this one. If I could see the floor, I'll tell you. Or the top is a bit. On a good day, it could even nine, so I don't know if that's good money in a nine, but I can't focus on the cards too much. Oh, level X four. You can see the corners done out. Yeah, it can so I can see in front. 2k for that, that's a cheap one. So you've pretty much taken out every level X and stuff. 2k, so 10 pounds. The thing is, as a raw, it won't even sell that high, so this is maybe pile. Maybe. See, if you list these raw in the UK, you get like five or three, you know what I mean? But thing gray to get 10 PC, even if it's sell, if it doesn't sell, then I'll keep it, you know? 25. This one I've sold for like a fiver on auction. That's the thing, man. Nah. I sold it sold cheap, innit? People are sleeping on the auctions. Like you, I sell it cheaper than you can get them here for, you know what I mean? Oh, it's a beauty, but a little bit on that corner so I can see, yeah. Good one, that one. Alright, Dial, just don't let me down. Oh, nine, strong nine. Nine, eight. Three K. Two point. Three K, obviously it's price place condition, but yeah. That's why binders kind of work, would be better, because you can pull them out, see, and then put it away. Or oh, fat, fat bit on the top. That would be a nice one. Yeah, Skarmory bread. Even at 30k, 35k is not even that mint. That's crazy. Oh, because these are unlimited. Okay, I was going to say, because this, this one is much cleaner than that. So at least they price based on rarity, because some shops do unlimited, it's more expensive. I mean, cheaper. Sift tree, whitening, 6k. Uh, not the mintest, but yeah, I want to get it for KB. I don't know if he wanted that one. Because uh, he gave me, he gave one away because it was a mint, so. I think just in fur names do well. Fudge it. Again, I could sell raw and that, but. The thing is, level X don't really sell compared to. I think what KB was telling me, best sells is black and white, which I haven't really seen. Nothing here. Alright, 4K here. Oof, top, top bit. Beautiful one. I really wanted that one to be at least NM. For 4K, that would have been still. Paid 5K earlier. I hope my one that I paid 5K for hits a 10. Because these are like, all I'm seeing them at is like 10K plus. So I'm hoping I've not missed a dent on the one I picked up earlier. Yeah, this one is mint. If I don't have one at 5K, I would have bought that. But yeah, that would have been 50 pounds. Okay, 8K promo. Ooh, a bit of specs, specs, edging. See how many cards I got here. I gotta kind of go through them quickly. So that's a speed rate as well. So we got Rhyperia. To be fair, could 10, but is it worth 25? Ah, oh, centering. Centering has gotten me on a lot of level X's. Like a lot of clean level X's and EX's. Oh, I love that gift stamp there. My Tiana. 3K. Oh, unfortunately. That would be a steal for his mint. So there we go, all Moltres. Not meant. Oh, he's got an absolute ugly one. Absol. Absol. Thing on the corner. Absol. Top bit. Drapion. Drapion's tend to be cheap, so I'm not surprised if it would be mint for that, but a little spec there. Yeah, Glide score again. Spec on the side. Punch Crow. Spec. Again, I don't mind the spec. It just depends the Pokemon and the price. It's like one tiny spec. Because on a good day, you could get a 10. If we got a tiny spec on a Honch Crow, then I'm getting £5 on auction for it. You know what I mean? Spec on the top. They had a lot of Dark Rides. Spec on the top. 6k ain't bad, but yeah. Not great. Yeah, I feel bad for pulling these all out. I know, I know KB and uh, I may be pulling out hella of their vids, but yeah, I did to ask if, oh, This one I know is around 20K mint. Yeah, I, I could have pulled, put, but maybe got one for about 20, maybe 30K. Beltaria, uh, yeah, all over really. It was almost mint. Yeah, there we go, in 9K. A uh, tiny one milli spec. I don't know if you can see it around there. So yeah, before 70, 80 pounds. Okay, 100 pound here. Uh, not the greatest. If you're being picky, though, of course. 
Yeah, specs there. Good that they give you the light and everything like that. Whitening. Whitening. Oh, I see a little bit of chipping on the front actually, maybe. Okay, this is the other set. Whitening, Flygon EX banger. White. White. God of War, sick one. White, well, man, just a tad. On a good day, you could turn. If it's one I really, really want, I would buy, but. Oh, Gira. So I've seen a Gira with that again, but. The Gira level X, we got the miss. I hate these ones, to be honest. Because they are promos. I think I graded one a nine. Couldn't sell it, and even in the nine. I have this in the ten. Wow, oh, that's be up, but for free, for. Again, the prices are great. Like, you want to buy in the collection, you find so many near mint pieces here. Again, I'm trying to trying to get for the store as well, so I'm trying to find like, yo, this is minty, guys. Do you want to buy it? But then again, I don't know what the what people are gonna pay. So I had near mint ones, and I'll go for five pound more auctions, guys. So that's the thing. That's the thing. Don't sleep. Link to my whatnot down below. Oh, please don't sleep, so I can buy some more stuff. Giratina, Garchomp's here. So this is this one here is a Japanese exclusive. So you gotta bear that in mind. Like so many Japanese exclusives, don't sleep, but. All right, Salamance, which one's the most expensive? And this one is cheap again. I got one for 20 mint. That, that could tend to be fair, but I got one for sale on a 10 and no one wanted to buy it, so we'll leave those. I'll buy this one. So yeah, you can come here for some One Piece. This one is over retail, but obviously you got a golden card, which they had for 900K. These are retail though, the brand new ones retail. I did see 151 for like 11, 12K, which isn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, just in case you look at a sealed product, they didn't have a Reaper's poncho there. So yo guys, some of the Reapers they have here, so for I think 10,000 yen, you can get yourself some ponchos and all that as well. Uh, so I think there's two different ones there. And then you got some Yu-Gi-Oh ones, there are some more Pokemon ones, but this one's caught my eye right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, vending machine. So, a thousand yen. Oh, they're all the same. So, you can try and pull like the SM, so I mean, Old Art, Umbreon, Dark Right, or the Raichu, and I'll own Raichu. And then you got Iono, Cherizard 25th. So, let's do this. Okay. Uh, I'll go for this one. All right, payment taken. What's going on? Oh, it's falling. It's falling. It went down. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, I was about to lose it. Ah. All right. <laughs> Marie wants one, but... I'm going one. All right, let's go. Let's go. There's a nice vending machine with the screen in there. More modernized. Much better. Yeah, you're not getting one. <laughs> S buff, <bro. gasps> The X Terra regular. Obviously, it's the odds because obviously they got put cheaper stuff. Have the odds to win more expensive stuff. Game's the game, but yeah. Marie, you getting one now? I want one. So Marie's turn again. I'm gonna record a real quick. Yeah, go for the one I went for. All right, Marie, what do you get? A Reaper video, that's what Marie got, okay? <laughs> we're not going again. So, yo, now we're at the Parco uh, shopping center, well, which is in Shibuya. Uh, basement floor, I think, is the mint card shop. So, that's hopefully not just a bunch of restaurants. Oh, it's gonna be hard to find. All right, let's have a look. All right, mint here. So, let's check it out. With all these Murakami cards. Silver Week sale. Let's go sit on here. Yeah. Alright, so Pokemon wise. Wish, uh, one of the full arts with some Vint. One five ones and I see our secrets. We've got some ARs. EXs and oh, some Disney slabs, not too bad. Dragon Ball One Piece slabs. Some just cheaper secrets, nothing vintage. I can ask her maybe. So yo guys, mainly modern stuff in that one. Uh, so unfortunately no vintage, uh, Pokemon, anything like that. And in terms of hits, like nothing crazy, no high end either. Uh, so yeah, this shop though, if you come here, you visit that one quickly and obviously at the top, you got the Shibuya um, Pokemon Center. 
with the big Mewtwo. So we'll show you that while we're here. And maybe we got some 151. 151 and V-Star University restocked online. I think in store as well. So we're going to check it out, guys. So yeah, let's go, let's go. So yeah, we've got the Shibuya Pokemon Center. Look at that Mewtwo right there. Looks incredible. Yeah, such a sick Pokemon Center. I'm going to pop in. I'll see what they have quickly. This is Pokemon shopping in Tokyo still. I guess this counts, but yeah, it's been a while, man. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not going to do a full tour. Obviously, I don't have new products from since last time I went. Check out my video from last time, guys, so you can kind of see what you can expect here. Got like Pokemon Center music. All right, let's see. Okay. I'm seeing. Oh, 151. Sold out. So, yeah, no good. Maybe some of the smaller shops will have. Well, obviously, this one's pretty bait, to be fair. So, yeah, also sold out these two. Claybust always sells out, it seems. Uh, what else are we looking for? Some sort of shield stuff. These are universe, but that's online. Yeah, 151 sold out. Uh, we'll check out another shop later. So, going down here, guys, looking for the next spot. I have no idea look at where I'm looking. Oh. Fourth floor. Wow. Okay. Go going up these bookie stairs. Shogun City Car. Shout out to Amir. He said he's good friends with this guy. He said it's worth checking out. So I thought in the area still. Uh Pokemon Center. No boxes, so. This is our phone shop. Following the card posted. Oh. Ah. Oh, I was gonna say chat. Is that it? Up there. <laughs> oh, I'm tripping out. This looked like a wall. It does say open. So you're all inside now guys, obviously checking out what they got. The vintage selection here, obviously have a look. You can see some of the prices and that. I'll still knock it off to walk the stairs. So have a look at the condition and stuff like that in a bit. What's your name Max? Yeah. I'm a friend of Amir. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, he said uh, come, come visit, you alright? Oh yeah, yeah. What's your hey, name? Vivian. Vivian, nice to yeah. meet you. Yeah, yeah. Here's the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he recommended it. I oh, thought really? I'd pop by, yeah. Oh, man, man. That's cool. That's cool. You got the CD promo there. Yeah. That's cool. He must have cleared out recently, right? Did he come see you uh, a couple weeks ago? A couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A couple yeah. weeks ago, he, he went in. Yeah? He went in? Oh, crazy. <laughs> okay. A little hot light there. Some modern stuff. So we got the Koro Koro. Oh, it's high. Cool stamp. For a fiver, it's not bad. Leave your alt down there. Can I have a look at some stuff if that's okay? Uh, look at the condition and stuff. What do you, what do you usually uh, buy? Um, I personally like level X's, EX's. Okay, okay. And sometimes like the XY black and white for right, lots right, kind right. of is kind of what I'm going for at the moment. Okay, which one do you want with that? Um, have a look Miniature, at this one. Yeah, yeah Manatric here. Yeah. From the US then? I'm from the US. Sorry. Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. And you open a store here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Kind of cool, right? yeah. Yeah, so I'll just have a look at that yeah. then. Hey, first time in Japan? Uh, second time. Last time I came for the World Championship. Oh, so it was a bad time to yeah, come, yeah, yeah. but it was yeah. good for the world yeah, and that. Yeah. How about you? Have you had the store long? Uh, it's gonna be two years soon. Two years? Okay, so you had it last yeah. year as well yeah, then? Yeah. I had it last year. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, I don't think I've been here last yeah. time, yeah. yeah. It's okay, take it out. Steve. Yeah, man, take it out. I'm not sure when I got that in. Um, yeah. What's in here? Uh, so I think it's pretty clean. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. It's just a little bit, but yeah, go on, I'll take it. Okay. Let's check it. It's scratching out. Okay. Take that. Uh, can I look at that in? Yeah. Oh, man. Where's... There you go. I'll leave this one. That's okay. okay. Can I have a look at the Lapras? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, VS series. He yeah, you probably put all well, the minty ones, yeah, right? Yeah, he got the minty one. Uh, we got some. Uh, minty one? For Anything you think? Um, Are the popular kind of characters? Kind Gengar is always the popular, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Usually more, right? If it's mint. Yeah, take a look at that. Yeah. It's Gengar. Oh, it is mint too. Yeah, fair. I think it is. Yeah, that one. Just a, was it Magneton? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a cool yeah. artwork though. Yeah, yeah it's uh, Baba. What's her name? Uh, 
forgot her. I forgot her English name. And Japanese, uh, Mi Mikan. Mikan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah, okay, yeah. There, there, there she is. Yeah. Yeah. How about the Gary? Gary's probably not in it at that price. Yeah, it's usually a bit more. Yeah. Like six thousand, eight thousand yen. Yeah. 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 Actually, oh. not bad. Check it out. Oh, look. It's not the worst. It's just a tad in it, but it's actually pretty decent. Hello. I'll leave these for now, that's okay. Okay, have a look at the EXs at the bottom and the level Xs. Uh, the Mewtwo there. This one? Yeah, Mewtwo, please. Um, then the Cresselia, um, Cresselia Amphros. The Cresselia and Amphros are kind of big. Yeah, I can imagine for the price. If it's not too bad, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the price is pretty good. You want to see the Deoxys? It's also in the best condition. Yeah, I can imagine. That's a bit of him, yeah, but yeah. Pretty cheap. But... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not a bad price, just the corner, right? I'll leave that. Um, can I look at the Dialga? I know it's one case, probably not. This one? Yeah, the two Dialgas, yeah. Okay. We've actually th three level Lexus here. Oh, yeah, I'll have a look at them. So, yo, guys, here there's another shop in this building here. Across the road from the Shake, uh, Shake Shack. So, big shout out to Ibs. I think it's Ibs. I can't remember. But for, uh, if he's in my Discord, you know, I've been watching his videos on uh, Japan shops. So number six up here and Shogun. Shogun was just around there. So if you do Shogun and you got two shops to do. Uh, but yeah, number six. Hopefully they go escalate elevator. A shout out to Ibex, that's his channel. Been watching his videos as well, trying to prepare for Japan. I don't know how to say this name, but yeah, pretty cool shot. Oh, nicely ventilated. Oh my god. So nice. So here, I guess you got the playable section, right? And over here you got your like cheaper cars. I see some yellow stickers. We'll have a look at like the Kyogre full up there for sure. There's some cheap ones here as well, so check out uh, Kingdra. Oh, I don't know, Kingdra doesn't really do well. I got seven, so fifth there as well. And these are more than I don't know why. Don't get them in often. But yeah, Moonbrion alt. So you got the Moonbrion alt arts there as well, so you can kind of see pause, proxy prices. Uh, have a look. And then here as well, you got some Pikachus. No crazy promos there. Uh, Detective Pikachu, maybe the oldest one. It's not for too crazy. Naga Abba prices again, probably around the two, three, two, five range. So in Japan, man, One Piece is taking over. Basically, when we came, it's just like fairly new, like one, two, three sets, maybe. But yeah, now it's crazy. So yeah, just Kyogre, really. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, currently, because obviously I got one hand, so I can't record showing the card, but yeah. Uh, Kyogre was really rough. That uh, Kingdra wasn't bad. If I don't know if you can see, like centering super short. So tops heavy, but short bottom short. Don't know if you can see there, but yeah. So I left those two. Yeah, a little spot here. Maybe they have some good stuff. Got people playing in that as well. Uh, back down we go. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for elevator still. I'll give very nicely well ventilated in uh, Japan. I don't think there's any with nice cool aircon. So plus one for me. So y'all, let's go. So this is the Radio Tower, Radio Kaikan. And that's, so most floors are full of Pokemon. There's loads of different retailers in this one building, of course. So we're gonna pop in, see what they got. And yeah, let's have a look. But yeah, today's been a busy day. Obviously I was doing like chilling out, checking out Tokyo, checking out some other shops and stuff, non-TCG wise, uh, like clothes and whatever. So yeah, I was doing a bit of that today. So day two, not so much focused on Pokemon, but yeah, just managing to get to the last couple of rounds. Literally, I've got about four, 50 minutes before this place closes. So first up, we got the C-Labo. I uh, don't think you can record in this one, but um, yeah, I don't think this one's too great compared to some of the other C-Labos across the country. But yeah, we'll have a look. I have no picture. So yeah, just a couple of like your modern hits and that. I think there's a hobby station on the bottom floor. So let's check it out, guys. So Hobby Station's a decent retailer here in Japan. But I think there's, I don't remember here, Pokemon. Yeah, nothing too crazy. You got some full arts, all arts, SARs in there. Have a look at some of the prices. Um, I guess playables, they have a big section for these non holo cards, but I guess what's meta, what's playable. That's what people want, right? That's what people need, so yeah. All right, we've got some deltas here, vintage-wise. Not too bad on that one. Alakazam, Mega. 
Union Arena. So a bit poor here. Don't find the gems over here, but match I remember had some good stuff around. Let's see if it's the same. Same year after. Oh, they moved. There used to be Pokemon now. One Piece is taking a lot of store uh, shelf shelf space in that. I got scammed at this one, I think. So yeah, you got your new set stuff here. They are over there. Nothing too crazy, nothing too old. So yeah, nothing too old there, but yeah, let's go to the next spot, guys. So in here, obviously, not just TCG. Um, I think this floor is Ami Ami, which does figures. They do do TCG. I bought from them before online. Um, but yeah, I know they do primarily figures, which you can find on that floor. So that whole floor is for them. Um, but yeah. Is this Radio Tower in the anime? Let me know, guys. But yeah, there are a couple good retailers, like I showed you. See Labo. Again, thing is, this place is like a hot spot, so you gotta imagine how many. Like, there's nothing crazy here. We'll see, we'll see. You never know. But this is like a bait spot, you know, and boom. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Magi. Magi right now. Okay. Bro, one piece is honestly taking too much. Too much uh, shelf space. Man, yeah, it must be going crazy here. But yeah, these mystery packs. We got this out last time. Sorry, my bad. So I was looking at something, but yeah, we got some mystery packs in there. Again, the vintage prices. There we go. We've got the Vino. Blastoise. Blastoise is pretty expensive here. Nearly 40k for the base set Blastoise. 15k for the CD promo. Um, and then the other ones, the Bulba deck, not the CD promo. Venusaur and then Venu at about 10k there. Yeah, these are mystery packs. I remember last time they came with two instead of three. We'll check that later. Um, sealed promos here. I think I got a good deal then. The yellow sticker Pichu. It's about five figures, so I don't know, about 18k. So I got all three of those earlier for like 7, 8k. So it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. But you see what I mean? Very packed in here. So it also kind of reflects the price. The price might be higher compared to cities where it's not as populated, you know, or vi as visited. So yeah, kind of common like supply. I mean, kind of like basic economics, but there. We'll go down here, we've got the munches. So kind of have a look over again, the SAR prices. You can kind of work out from modern SARs who does the best prices kind of thing. So who overprices, who doesn't like 5K for the Venu, uh, Celebi Alt's not too bad, but that's never been an expensive one to be fair. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, ooh, slabs wise. Down here. So you guys can have, a, can have a look here. Yeah, like, look, why is the Gold Star so cheap? 9K, about 45 pounds for that Gold Star one. Mewtwo only 8k, 40 pounds in a 10. Flareon 40 pounds in a 10. So you can see the Master Ball prices there. This Pikachu, I have an 8 in this. This annoys me, but 15k, 75 pounds isn't too bad. Raw, it's about 50 pound card, so it ain't too bad. You think about it, it's only 80 pounds there. But that's just some niche Pikachu's that I kind of collect there. So I'm like, oh, that one's annoying me because I have that in 8. You kind of crack it. Yeah, I need to sell that and kind of replace it. So yeah, I can do it later. All right, Master Ball Pikachu's at 30,000, so that's pretty expensive still. Three at um, 150, to be fair. Surprised it's hold that much. I know it was like 300 at one point, maybe 300 pounds now, but oh, Claymation Pikachu for 50 pounds. Not too bad, but I can see whitening. Obviously, yellow sticker means it's going to be not the mintiest. Uh, we've got this Mega Tokyo uh, Charizard Poncho there. You've got the Festers in the back for 85k. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So that's Pikachu section. Oh, these are 10k is pretty good. I think we we're looking at 15k earlier. So 50 pound for that is pretty bang on. With the Umbreon, uh, Umbreon E Series one there for 45k yellow sticker. So it's gonna have some flaws. A sealed Leafy on there for 62. Oh yeah, we've been picking up these um, Arceus is for 1k. One five, one uh, two k. It's this kind of thing. Okay, we got a good deal there. That's kind of the standard rate, wouldn't it be? Hon Doom seven, seven k mint. If that's mint for seven k, we'll grab that. Hon Doom there, but yeah. Ray, 
Cool promos down there. Oh, look, EX King Draw. So we'll look at that. Steelix, Hondoom, White Stickers, and Mint and Maggie. Does white mean mint? Because the, the problem with the other shop is, yeah, I know I wasn't expecting mint for those prices the other Maggie was at, but so they didn't have yellow stickers. But they all use white. So it was hard to tell with the fringe shade, no mint, mint. But yeah, PSA 10. A rebar, 10k, 10k? Yeah, 10k. I'd rather try the other one because the other one you've had, I guess this one you got better odds because it's 30 pieces, I guess. So these are, so all these cabinets are reapers. So you buy a ticket and you can win one of the prizes in here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do, try and do more of these during the week. Not too bothered now. Man, all the prizes ain't too crazy. I guess for a thousand yen, five pounds you're paying, like that is okay. Cause that's like double your money. That's tri triple your money, I guess, all tier. And that's like round your money, maybe less. Oh, 200 pounds for a Rowler, it seems really good. I did sell mine for 200, about three times. It's not too, yeah, about the same in the US and UK. So it'll be roughly about 200 pounds. 250 poncho prices, I'll show you again now. See so our poncho prices are uh, here. So you got the Maggi, Maggi's like coming just on under 2K there. 388000, so yeah, just over 2K on the Maggi there, so. Yeah, Lucia, a couple of bits here and there. Oh, you see, that's the OG Lucia and a 10, it was stonky. That's why it's kind of a little bit of hype because it's one of the most expensive. After Lily, I think it might be that in the Sword and Shield era. Uh, but yeah, so that's why that Lucia on the new set, I think it's a good buy, buying boxes, packs. This is like modern mystery packs, no vintage ones. Uh, I don't want a modern one. Is that got promo? Oh, that's called Get Promo on it. That's probably worth £2.50 alone. Celebi SA? Bro. Bro, I know that stunts. Oh. That's a competition promo. Oh, because maybe it's the wrong way. Oh, maybe that's not good. That's AR ones. Maybe these two are cooked. I don't want to open them though. I can't be asked to buy. I love this promo. That's the thing. So many cool cards you can buy for 50, 70 pounds. Look, Gem Mint 10, Mewtwo Alt. I think I paid 12, 13, 15k last year for the Mew Alt V. So I don't like the V Max to be fair with you guys. 10k on a friendly shot, like a 15 pound Gem Mint 10. Like you got the Gem Mint 10 on the Tea Party. So I could buy some tea parties here, mint. Um, nothing really catching my eye. Let me have a look at some bits, guys, and I'll let you know the progress. So yeah, I'm just grabbing that one. The white sticker, it had a bit of a couple specs there. I did have a look at that one as well. Not the greatest. All of them are kind of like specced up. So just the Entei, I thought, why not? Thank you. So while I'm here, I thought I'd show you. Kind of poncho box prices there. You got the Yokohama boxes. They're at 168, 178, so maybe condition dependent. EV box at 128k, uh, 70k for that one. I actually bought one of them. I bought it before the price. I bought it for the price of like one double blaze box. Now they obviously it has two double blaze boxes, but uh, I bought it b before it went up in price. Um, but yeah, let's go. This is such a sick box. That one there. I like that style. Uh, but yo. So that one's 328, so about 1.52k. Like this Lucario here, 25k Jirachi. I was looking at the Jirachi promo, Jirachi card earlier for like 4k. Sealed there is like 30 plus k. Is that English? English tin? Yeah, precious collection box. This one's about one. Buy a bit. I need to buy the Pikachu out of that box. That's the goal to do. Not for sale Pikachu, I wonder, uh, Charizard, I wonder who signed up, let me know. And then, yeah, Reaper Box. All right, let's go upstairs, guys. See any more stores. Obviously, these are all the shops in there, but I can't read Japanese. So I just got to check one by one. But that was floor five for Maggie. So yeah, level six, guys, they have a um, yellow submarine, which is a hobby shop, and they do have a trading card section, uh, as you can see. Ooh. Okay, they have a decent vintage selection. Let's have a look around there. I don't know if this shop did the condition stuff. 
I knew one shop did the condition stuff, so that's why I was getting confused. We got like six, five, seven. I know uh, Mandarake. Yeah, you got some good prices in here. Obviously, depends on the condition. Get some of these things down here. Uh, but you got all oh, Kiosis, Lexus Primes, and that. Obviously, you got loads of Empoleons in that here. A yoga, this one here is pretty cool. The sweet coon Reggie's. Oh, Reggie's still 10k, guys. So I actually need that one, you know. So let's have a look. Yeah. Have a look at the condition, let you know if that, can, that number means condition or not. Or can I find some minties in there? So yeah guys, so yeah, the numbers meant the grades they think they get, and I think they max out eight. I think I watched a video about Mandarake doing the same, like they do up to eight, so they won't write nine and 10. So you kind of have a look, obviously some, like the higher numbers and you look like a seven or eight maybe, it wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, if you want to have a give a go, give a go, but I don't want to stand there all day. Try to get this tower done, all right, floor seven. I don't know if there's any TCG, but yeah, next TCG shop, I'll let you know. I think we'll have some more. There's up to 10 floors in here, so yeah. Oh, what happened here? They just sold out. Let's have a look. Uh, I remember this one done me last time, but the game's the game, obviously. You gotta have some flaws in that, innit? But Jewel Master, it's cool to see Jewel Masters popping off here. So I used to watch it as a kid and play it and collect it. I ain't got a clue about it anymore. Pokemon here, modern wise. Hey, guess modern, modern, modern. Modern, okay, typing order, but in terms of types, it's kind of looking like Modern, modern, like ARs, regular hollers, EX, it's stuff we don't really want. The price is not too bad, like 300 for Persians, about standard. Just for example, obviously I'm trying to see what shops would be taxing, taxing. Okay here, yellow stickers, okay, okay. It's not too bad, 35 on the Blossom. Uh, Yokama, 7K is not bad as well. So our 40, 40, I'll check those out for sure. Oh, we've got primes. Oh yeah, black and white. 5K on those, that isn't bad, I don't think. So those are the kind of stuff we're trying to look for and see if they're near mint to mint, guys. So we'll go do a condition check and get back to you guys if we buy any of those. So yeah, guys, just grabbed a couple of small bits, nothing too crazy. Uh, Cause when every time I get to tell them to take stuff out, I feel bad and I feel like, okay, I'll just grab something random. Uh, but then I did look at this Pikachu here I said I wanted it. It's not a bad price point at the moment. The boxes are kind of expensive, but the Pikachu on its own, it's been hovering around 500, maybe eight, 900 in a 10. So I don't mind trying to chase uh, down a raw one now at a 500 price point. So I'm just checking if there's any cards. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, 500 price point is pretty sick. So uh, yeah, but, but I passed on this one. One very, very, very tiny spec. Could slide a 10, but I think the centering will give it a strong nine. So I did pass on that one for now, guys, but yeah, something uh, on the list for here. But over here, guys, boom. We're on floor, floor nine. See a Labo, so let's see if they got any Pokemon. The Pokemon wise, I found this AR wool, some 100 uh, yen ARs. So they hover around the 100 to 300. Obviously the better ones are gonna be the higher end. Uh, over here, we've got the SAR character secrets. So not too bad, like Glacian for 1.3, but it seem too, too bad. And since I'm here, I'll do a condition check. But the thing is, it's only one card, so I'm looking at one card every time. So it's the time, but oh, they sold out on these two. Um, it's 3.1 on that one. 31k on that one there. But yeah, selling out, man. Hopefully, it ain't, prices ain't gonna jump up. But no vintage, no olders. Yeah, that's about it for Pokemon chat. So no vintage, no older. Black and white is what I'm streaming to not find at the moment so we'll see we'll see but the process to ask them for one card it's not really worth it i was gonna ask on like the articuno 20 quid on articuno the glacian that would have been pretty decent to be fair but i'll be asked <laughs> okay fine i'll be asked hold give me a sec so yeah the articuno had a little a bit of a curry stain but the the glacian looks good so i'll take it i don't know the market on it but i'll buy it anyways and yeah, let's go. Pretty cool. Pretty fast service. Uh, just a small selection at the C Labo, but those are the C Labos because they do have some pretty good shops, which you'll check in other cities. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Yo, so there's a full comp here. There was a full comp. So there's another full comp uh, at another area, but I didn't end up going. 
I think where we was first, Shibuya, no, Shinjuku maybe, one of the areas. There's a full few comps. Few comp might be a pretty decent one. Don't think. Okay, they got this Pokemon here. But come on, and look, big one. Oh, did you want Dragon Ball packs? So if you want products, a retail 180 pack, 180 yen a pack, retail product, then yeah. And being a retailer, it might get tax free as well. Oh, I say retailer, they got one of these in there. It's about 70, 80 quid now. Yeah. Not even in the UK, people struggling to sell those boxes. Amazing boxes, but people struggle to sell them. You, you, uh, no Pokemon cards, but you got Pokemon products in there. Nonetheless, oh, full comp. Ah, there we go. And then you got big magic as well. So two card shops here. So full comp once again, Pokemon side here. Let's see, we got, so you got the ARs, so a bunch of ARs. So I'm even at 600, but that makes sense. Well, that makes sense. God pack, that's the Pikachu AR, I can't go wrong. Vintage here. So, okay, CP6, CP6, right? Uh, no, my CP, yeah, it must be CP6. This is the first edition stamp in. Got some waifus. Mixture stuff, I don't know what it means here. Um, yeah, it ain't too bad. I love this one, 1.8 for that, it's pretty cool. Those two will have a look, okay. Add that to the list. Rainbows, all arts, okay. Hyper S, so it requires a 240, so roughly, no, 1.2 raw, really? Oh, that's crazy. Might be the biggest single hand card I've ever pulled. This, look, that is more expensive than that. That's what I love to see, because I pulled that. Still don't have that in Japanese in my collection. I don't think I'll be spending 1K here today. You got some ARs characters down there. Uh, gold, full art, so a bit of everything. I think they're Pokemon order. I don't know if it's alphabetical or what's what, what's the structure, but obviously they like, stuff next to each other. I think this place closes in a few, but it doesn't look like it should quit. Any rush to shut down, but yeah, it's to be fair. Need some cool ones to have like Sun and Moon Era, like really cheap, not too expensive. Well, those are cheap. I don't know about the other ones, but yeah, let me know, chat. But yeah, I think it's kind of gone down to normal. And yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm looking at? Oh, Pikachu's. This is what we want to look at here. That's a sealed pack, 10k, 500. That's not too bad. You think about it, 250 a piece for two ponchos. Absolute steal. 20th anniversary. You got a full collection here. It's so crazy how cheap some of this is. Like, look at Luxray. Someone's bought God Chomp with the primes. Yo, here, your full comp might be the way to go for some of these. So, Mar uh, and the skull one at the top there. Skull is 398k. Mario Baby, 190k, so about mm, PSA 10 packs is there. Okay. I think I just bought one of those Zard Peekers for like 1714, which seemed cheap, so yeah. My initiative said that was cheap and ended up being cheap, so we'll see. Hopefully, mine's mint or grade it. And that over that and Magi was 10k, so same kind of differences and kind of making a. That's the thing, first few visits, like you kind of gauge some of the prices now. Like now I know 10k is a good price because I've seen this 15k at a lot of places. But a tea party, for example, need one of those though. Uh, it's gonna annoy me to get that, but I'm not too bothered anymore. These are super cheap, man. Seals for about 150. Grab them, chat. You get these um, promo ones as well, tournament ones as well. Uh, GX here. This works pretty cool because you don't see it often. Oh, we got this one, Gengar Alt. So I haven't seen some alt arts. And to be fair, we haven't seen many alt arts. Like, that's not too bad. Like 200 quid. Still a lot of money when you think about it, but ain't the worst. Need one of these, man. One kit was about 500 pounds. That's about right, to be fair. Two SSR shinies there, Hidden Fates. And then Black White XY at the bottom. All right, so this is where I want to look. Ooh, Umbreon Prime, that one's sick. So cheap, but so sick. 
get enough of it too crazy. But this is all the black and white. If it's mint, it's mint. I don't think they have a yellow sticker, so I don't know if they're mint or not. But yeah, not too bad. All right, just showing you what's in here. Yeah, not too bad to check. Some nice models, some fair prices, like having a look, good prices here. All right, big magic, let's go, guys. It's floor nine, we still got one more floor. I think they're shutting up, but let's check big magic before they shut me out. Oh, who imagine we couldn't make it to the top floor. All right, big magic. Yeah. Do you know Pokemon cards? Yes. Oh, this way? Here. Oh, there. Thank you. Is this all of them? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we have. Oh, on the website. Here. Is it a website? Uh, no, no, no. We're back stock. Oh, back stock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can order from here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look. Thank you very much. So, quick have a look. The world's 14. A lot of this proxy cards there. <laughs> we got a grand party. <laughs> Not too bad. They got... So you got new and vintage, which is nice to see. Little primes down here. Closing. All right, let's check 10th floor if there's any card shops. Oh, floor 10, nothing much. We'll take the elevator down then. Card Kingdom. So they got outside front here, but around the side, you can go up and they have a decent store up there. Hopefully, it's still open. Right. It's okay. So, uh, got some cool bits here. Just quick, I overlook. Cool Pika promos, yellow stickers, remember. Of course, it's on um, street level. A lot of tourist traps, maybe. So, yeah, gotta watch out. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Obviously, you gotta kind of just know what you're buying. Check condition and stuff. So, yeah, so, yeah that was at Kingdom Shop. And if my memory serves me correctly, Second floor over here. Second floor. Card Kingdom. Second and fourth. Uh, fourth. Pokemon. Fourth. Yeah. I don't want anything for that. Close. Close what time? Oh, 7.55. Okay. My bad. Now that's the E one. Nine. Nine. Oh, okay. So I remember this from last time. Yeah, I remember it. Ooh, now they got baseball cards. Sick. Japanese League. Alright, some modernish stuff here. One Piece, Dragon Ball Super, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Right, Pokemon here. Alright, sleeves, trainers. So you have trainers here. Some yellow sticker wire fuse, that's for you. So you can look at that if you want to flip that. Yeah, some SCR secret rares, these Pikachus from the recent promo in the shop. Rainbow Pika down there. Uh, nothing for me. It's all super modern to be honest. Just want old stuff, man. But it's all sick. That one for 100 pounds seems decent to be fair. Yeah, I'm trying to find some old gems. Oh, 151. Let's see the price of 151 box. Alright. 15k. Yeah, 15 is too much. But retail on new one. So yo guys, um, so yeah, it's like past 8 p.m. of course. The the, the radio tower is closed. Uh, I think this brand is called Fuku Fuku. I don't know, but all I know is Amir didn't know this one existed here. So hopefully he ain't bought this one out. Or him and KB ain't bought this one out. So second floor, not too far from Haru. Uh, let's pop in and have a look. And this one closes. Um, it's a weird time, it says 8.45 on the website. It's a bit strange time, so I've got about half an hour left. So yeah, let's check it out. So you're here we are, Fuku Fuku. And no wonder he likes this drink because um decent. Look, 50 over that. It's not a promo or anything, but cheap. 
Cool call it. Shiny then. Do you want me to film? All right, Marie's going to have a film. Um, so yeah, level X for one, two. Ain't bad. All right, we'll grab some stuff. Obviously, that's yellow sticker. We got no sticker for 3K. Oh, that promo is sick. What the hell? I love the stamp on that. Okay, cool stuff in there. We'll pick them out. Have a look um, in a bit. Oh, Ladios there, 19, about 100 pounds. Ladios only 50 pounds. So I'm going to check the condition on those two as well. That could be a chop chop. Shout out KB. Some nice e-reader in here. I think some hollows in there, I don't know. Yeah, I think that this one's hollow, because different set number. Some, some are proxies, but I don't know if you'd proxy that. But this one will look like a proxy. Web series, she's 500K, so, is that 2.5K pounds? Really? Yeah, 2K, right? 2.5K pounds. That's like the promo, like it's like a special one, it's like a web series. Um, special info about that here. Uh, but that's some cool stuff here, like, okay, is that hollow? I guess that's mint and then that's not mint. Don't know, or proxy, I don't know. It's not even mint, look, oh no, sleeve. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bro, there's some cook in here. If a mirror came here, none of this VS series would be here. Look how stacked this VS series is. Oh, look, you want Lapras, Articuno, Dragonite. Yo, cook, cook. But yo, that Raikou's hard. I need an Entei Hollow. They don't have. That's on my hit list for PC. Bro, there's too much good stuff. I don't know what's comps though. That's the thing. This one's sick. Koro Koro if it's mint. Oh, centering. Look, it's always at centering. Look at this one, Rainbow Saki here. One Over 1k for those. All right there. So yo, I wasn't able to film in the end there, but obviously we got some footage, so exclusive footage there. But yeah, super kind, uh, super blessed people in there. Got some sealed promos, got some nice cards in here. That's a little cheap one, but got some nice bangers in there. There might be one I'll come back for tomorrow. I'm gonna come back again tomorrow. I only had like 20 minutes here. Uh, one I'm thinking about, but again, we have a lot more places to see and engage the prices, but yeah, highly recommend this. They have a few other shops, so if we can see variety like that price is not too bad then we're gonna go check them out so stay tuned for that guys and yeah that's probably day two done